So I'm in Lac Dubani. It's Saturday morning. I came out last night. Came out to Matt's cabin. And uh, today's Lac Dubani Bass Rumble. The Manitoba Bass Anglers Group put this on, and it's actually a it's actually a lot of fun. Um, hoping eventually it gets more and more people. Every year it's growing this year. I think it's going to be about. It's not a really big tournament, but it's about 20 boats. I could have drove out this morning, but you know what? I prefer coming out. It was Matt's birthday on Thursday, so happy birthday, Matt. Had a nice dinner and just relaxed it. Now we're up and early, bright and early, and uh, we don't have to be at the launch until about 7.30. We're gonna head her into town, hopefully have enough time to grab a little bite to eat at Drifters, and then we're gonna go and hoist some hogs, lock the bunny style. It's gonna be wicked. Last year we actually came in second. We gotta go beat those Hebert boys. Ooh. But I do want to do a shout out to all my boys out of Lake of the Prairies. First stop of the Lund Trail. Third stop of the CWT Trail. I want to wish luck to all those boys. Kick some butt boys. I wish I could be up there. I do enjoy fishing this tournament. It is a lot of fun. I love slinging fat bass. It's always nice just to change gears. It's not just always just going after walleyes. Matthew! Are you ready to rock? We're ready to rock. We're at Drifters. It's 7 o'clock. We still got half an hour. I'm kind of in no hurry. It's only about 20 boats, won't take too long for us to launch. There is one thing that I do need, and that is breakfast. The plot sucks. It's so busy in there, they can't make our breakfast in 20 minutes. I would've even taken it to go. Now I gotta eat sunflower seeds and chips. Kelly, what are we gonna do? Why are we wearing walleye thugs when it's a bass tournament? Because you haven't made any new walleye bass thugs. That is true. <laughs> Got myself a muffin. I got myself a muffin. Oh yeah. That'll tie me over until I dig into Matt's cooler, which is garlic sausage. What else did we bring in the cooler? Chicken. Chicken. That'll be all gone by 9 o'clock. Oh yeah, folks. Represent Kick Fish today. With my boy Stevie Sasaki. Kick a fish. Bust it down. We actually had our full bag by, by 9 o'clock. We have two nice 18 and a halfs. We have two 15s. We got, a, we got about a 14. So we're looking pretty good about 12, I think 12, 12 and a half pounds. Check out that hog. Bam, baby. Bam. It's not bad Bam. for... Uh, so we're working on it. We need to upgrade these now. You got them? Yeah. Is this a net? I don't know. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, come on, slot. Come on. Oh, no. Over, over, just over. Ah, just a little over the 40 centimeter, but this would have been a beautiful fish. Kicker fish. <laughs> Bam. So this sausage is from JD Hong and it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> it's so good. You can get it in Winnipeg at Marcelo Meats. You can get it at Campbell's in Lac Morning. Free. Oh, oh, Matt's on. You got a big tree? No. Matt? No. It's a lot? Oh, actually, maybe. Maybe, actually. That might. Uh, no, I'm no. looking over. Roll it on you. There's another one for the. We got a release. Oh. Oh. Oh, bass mask and flip check. This one's for you. <laughs> you can eat that one? Oh, I think it's huge. Oh my god. Dude, dude. Oh. Bam! Alright, so we uh, just pulled off another over. But the, so we, uh, this one was only three, three and a half pounds. Black to Bunny Bass Rumble. We're gonna let this one go. So the wind really picked up now on Lac de Bunny and she's ripping on the big lake. It's gonna take a while for us to, to head on back. So we're just tucking behind islands and islands here and there. 
I think we already calculated out. We're about 13 pounds, maybe 13 and a half. Never know, a scale could be off. Back to Bunny is actually nice big water. You gotta be careful and you gotta time it properly when you wanna head back. It took us about 20 minutes to get out here, so it'll probably take us about 40 to get back. We have some really nice slots. They're all about two pounds plus. And we got two three and a half pounders. One's a little more than that. In the tree. In the tree. <laughs> Gar's doing some serious dock fishing. I mean, he's fishing the dock. You got him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice little chunky monkey. Yes. Unfortunately, only 1.74 pounds. She gotta go. Yeah, bro. Pops like an 18 and a half, a little bit over that. Just a nice chunker. Oh, 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 oh man. Smash it. Look at the lampreys on lamprey marks or some kind of weird stuff. Mac Ellie, you savior, you just popped yourself a 3.85. We get to upgrade this one, which was a 3.55, 3.6. She was a chunker, but she gets to go home. So it's about 3.20 right now. Uh, we are pretty far down the lake and the water is pretty big. Big chop, so we're gonna take our time heading back. We, we feel like we've done pretty good. They were able to upgrade that last one the last second. It was awesome. Oh, it was pretty awesome. We got, we actually caught quite a few fish today. Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, we, we got uh, four masters. I so can't complain about that. Yeah, we caught quite a few overs that we yeah. tossed back. A lot of 17s and yeah. what a fun day on the water. Let's go weigh in our fish and see how well we did. Like the Bunny Bass Rumble! It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Holy crow, man! This is awful! <laughs> <laughs> Bring up your ass next, sorry, or what? Yeah, I put, I put it away because it's sunny. Get it, Bunny Shark! Holy crow, we were soaked. Show the kids. Bam! Oh, man. Snap! I gotta tell you, that ride back was quite something else. <laughs> Some of that was, we are completely soaked. Soaked. My git just soaked. My shorts just soaked. My shirt is soaked. I had to take off my hat. There was That's why I wore my bathing suit. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Didn't matter whether we went left or went right or backwards or forward. It was coming in the water. It's coming in. It's coming. We were soaked. I don't. I felt sorry, we passed a couple bass boats out there and they didn't look like they were having too much fun. Now we're gonna go weigh in our piggies and see how well we did. Well, I was disappointed that we didn't get a really big fish, but we got okay fish. Oh, <laughs> come on. What are you hoping for? Not enough. 1396. Oh, they must have came in good. <laughs> What'd you guys get, Hebert? Well, there you go. We we weighed in 13. What was it? 1376. 1396. I don't know. Uh, 13 something. 1396. Yeah. 1396. All we needed was that kicker fish. Another a 19 and a half, and we would have won. Unfortunately, some some of the guys got in trouble out there because the waves were pretty big, and I think one of the smaller boats got in trouble. So I think two boats didn't come back because they're helping each other out, which is maritime law. You gotta do it. Murphy's Law, it doesn't rain <laughs> while we're waiting. Finally, they want, to do, they want to present awards and it starts coming down. We moved, we moved the awards to Drifters, so at least it's good we can have a cerveza. Sorry. <laughs> 12.63, <laughs> looking at Stu Petter and Kevin Peters. Fourth place, 1277. No, our, our second place. Mike Miles and Cody Robert. Yeah, Mikey! Third place with 1396. 1396. Gardner Chung, Matthew Gelly. There you go. We got a picture there. We got a picture there. Alright, second place. 14 pounds, 12 ounces, Jamie Butka, Luke Hebert. First place, 1439. It's a big wave. Going to Derek Standard and Crystal Wall. Such 
check it out. I'm with the winner, Derek Stainard. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. I'm doing you know what well. the funny thing is? We thought we were going to be going against each other. And then we even had to bet against each other that whoever lost would have to jump in the water, but apparently we're both losers. Well, let's go to the both lake boys. <laughs> Next year it'll have to be all three of us. Yeah. All three of our group too. What's the secret? What's the secret? What'd you use? Marshmallows? Or? Hooks. 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 Yeah. Hooks. Yeah. 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 Was it the new boat? Might have been the new boat. Yeah. It was a good way to break in the new boat. There you go. That's awesome. Next yeah. But that's wicked. Now we got to watch out for him next year. Yeah. I think there we have to go. watch out for him anyway. <laughs> sure. Well, there you go, guys. The Lacta Bunny Bass Rumble is over, and you're looking at third place, which I don't mind. That yes, was good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yes. Kicker fish, baby. That's right. I had to wear the kicker fish because my boy Eric LaPapa has been on fire. So, hell yeah, Team Kicker Fish. Lacta Bunny, it is what it is. It is a fantastic fishery. Man, Matt here is like the bass guru. Well, he does have a cottage I don't here. Know about that. Dude, it was fun though, bro. I had a good time. Yeah, it was. We had a good time. We caught some fish. Yeah. You know what? It is what it is. And you know what? Congratulations, Derek Stanner and Chris Thole. Congratulations on coming go. in first. We're all gonna be looking out for you, us, the Hebrew boys. That's right. It's a nice day outside now. It's not raining anymore, and I have to drive home, and I am tired. So I'm gonna jump in my truck, head her home. You're going to the cottage. Yeah. Which means, I'm out of here. Peace. Peace.